Well, hey everyone, I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley, physical therapist, life coach, and health coach. And you may be wondering, what has she got on now? Well, what I've got on is a fat vest, okay? And when I, whenever I have someone try this on, you know, it's, it's a demo. It's, it's to help people understand what, what losing 20 pounds would be like. So this is 20 pounds. And most people, particularly women, when they try this on, they say, it, that's 40 pounds. And I'll be honest with you, it, it feels like 40 pounds, but it's, it's only 20 pounds, I promise. But, um, you know, it, it, it's amazing what can happen when you can rid your body of 20 pounds. So just today, well actually yesterday, we ended a challenge, and here's the numbers that my folks got. 42 pounds, 28 pounds, 33 pounds, 28 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, 18 pounds, you know, just on and on like that. And so 10 pounds, I mean, think about that. Most of you have tried to lose that eight or 10 pounds or 15 pounds or 50 pounds. You've been dieting, cycle dieting for years and it, it just doesn't work for you. And I'm gonna tell you tonight a, a practice that if you implement it with, with other things, I mean, it's not the only thing, that's gonna really, really help you, okay? So I'm gonna put this down because this is the amount of weight plus a few pounds that I lost. And, you know, I used to try to run when I was heavier and I just couldn't do it. It, it just was too hard. I'd run up the driveway and I'm like, this is too much. But now I can run without you know, feeling like I'm carrying a, a boatload of fat with me, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna take this off, but if you ever wanna come try on my fat vest, you can. And it really, it, it's, a, it's a great visual for people to get. All right, so I wanted to show you what supper was tonight. So there you go, it's two grilled chicken breasts that were marinated in uh, coconut aminos and um, I'm not sure what else she put in there, but olive oil, I think. And then green beans and sweet potato cubes. All right, and you might say, well, sweet potatoes are not keto. Well, here's what I wanna show you, all right? So I try to keep my carbs around 20 a day, and I explained last night, if you missed my video last night, go back and watch it, but I explained why we wanna have 20 or less carbs. But really what it is, is that's what we need, all right? That's the amount of carbs we need every day. Unless you're a bricklayer or, you know, doing a lot of work, okay? Uh, a lot of strenuous work. But that's, for most people, women like us, that's about the number of carbs your body uses. So think about it. If your body, if you take in more than 20, what happens, it's not hard to figure that out. What happens is your body's gonna store it. And that's a good thing because it's, it's saving it for later. But if the next day you take in more than you need and the next day and the next day, the next thing you know, you got 15 pounds around the middle and then 20 pounds and then 100 pounds. And you're like, what happened? Well, most days you took in more than your body needs. So that's why we do fasting, is to help our bodies burn what we've stored, okay? So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. So here's what I wanna tell you. So in this dish, the sweet potato, that little bit was probably 20 carbs, maybe 50, well, uh, actually, actually I think that was probably about 15 carbs. The beans were about five carbs, and then the chicken, of course, is protein and fat, especially if it's the thigh. If it's the breast, I do want you to know that the white meat chicken will raise your insulin levels up more than dark meat chicken. It's, it's, it's just a known fact, it's a research fact, so just know that, but I'm gonna put this over here, over here to the side. My daughter actually cooked tonight, isn't that a blessing? Okay, so just for reference, this, put, this tomato right here probably has about nine carbs in it, 
just just one tomato. Now I'm not gonna eat a whole tomato, but if I ate spaghetti, I probably would eat that much, you know, of a tomato. And so uh, tomato is a fruit, okay? So we don't eat a lot of fruit uh, very much at all in the first month. That's because we're really trying to shred fat. So now when I'm, I'm gonna get into what happens to your body when you start fasting, I'm gonna talk about fasting. I'm still enjoying the last little bit of my uh, spider moms. I love them, but they're gonna be gone here probably tomorrow. Okay, one more thing I wanted to mention. This is, um, I love these. This is pickled asparagus. Anytime you can eat pickled food, as long as it doesn't have sugars in it, as long as it has good so like salt in it, that's gonna be really good for your digestive system. Same thing with apple cider vinegar. So if you're having issues with your digestion, I would really strongly encourage you to do some apple cider vinegar every morning. I do about two tablespoons and a little bit of water and I just chug it down. Uh, and then I, I try to eat, cause I have chronic constipation, that may be TMI, but I do. And I, I want to, you know, I want things to move through my body. So that's what the, um, Fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, yeah, pickled, pickled foods. And so I love, these are some of the best asparagus. They're so good. I think I got these at Costco. Okay, so let me put these aside. All right, so I'm going to talk about fasting. But before I do that, I want to tell you that there's a lot of ways to fast, all right? I mean, there are so many books out there talking about whether you call it restricted eating, restricted time eating, or intermittent fasting. But I'm going to tell you what I do and what's worked for me for a long time now, what works for my clients. Uh, I have most all of my clients do a 24-hour fast at least one day a week. Some of them are not there yet. They're just getting started. But most of them will do a 24-hour fast at least a couple of days a week, sometimes three days a week. Some do every day, they just eat one meal a day. Hey Alexis, good to see you. Alexis was one of those that she didn't think she could fast, okay? But she's doing it now, and that's what's so wonderful about it. Um, okay, so uh, there's, there's different hours that you fast, so I'm gonna wait until I go over what happens when you fast, but, but most people start off with a eight to 10 hour fast. So that means if you eat at six o'clock at night, you would fast until six the next morning. That's actually a 12 hour fast. So if you went to 10 o'clock, so no eating after 6 p.m., if you went to 10 o'clock, then you got a 14 hour fast. And then if you went to 12 o'clock, you got a 16 hour fast. And then if you went, you know, so you can do the math, all right? I don't have to do the math for you. But what I wanna tell you is what happens in your body when you fast, because that's why we fast. The whole reason for fasting is to, is to uh, get the benefits of fasting. It's not to starve yourself, that's not why we fast. We fast so that our body can cleanse itself. And so when you think about fasting the way you should think about fasting, then it makes it easier to do. And it's your why, why am I doing this? Well, if I do this, my hum if I fast, two more hours, then here's the additional benefit I'm gonna get, okay? So I just wanna encourage you that there are reasons to fast. And, uh, and it, again, it's not to starve yourself, it's not to make yourself hungry, it, it's not for your stomach to growl, it's not to prove that you can. There are med medicinal reasons for it. Okay, so in, here's what happens in four to eight hours. So let's say you, you eat your last meal at six o'clock, and about 10 o'clock at night, what's gonna happen is your blood sugar's gonna drop, which most of us need that. We need our blood sugars to drop, and all the food has left our stomach. That happens in about eight hours, sometimes a little more, but it's left our stomach and it's moved down into our, our lower digestive system, okay? So that's in four to eight hours. And then insulin is no longer peaked, all right? so. That's a good thing because insulin is a fat storing hormone. It's actually the bully hormone. So as long as that insulin is up, then there are things that are like your human growth hormone is not gonna coexist with it. It's gonna go away. And we want our human growth hormone because it's a fat burning hormone. We want those fat burning hormones to be peaked, okay? So 12 hours, here's what happens. Our food is, uh, 
the food consumed has been burned. All right, it's left your gut. So it takes about 12 hours. So if you eat a couple pizza pizza, and then you eat, you know, say you eat that for lunch and then you eat supper, you've actually put food on top of food. And so that's why I really encourage you to consider not eating so many meals and especially don't eat all day because your digestive system never gets to work. But that's another whole course, all right? All right, so after 12 hours, your digestive system goes to sleep and that's, that's a good thing. It needs to rest and your body, body begins to heal instead of, you know, your, your heart has to pump a lot of blood to your digestive system for you to digest your food. All right, that's why your heart rate goes up after you eat and that's why they tell you don't swim after you eat. So we, we don't want to stress our, our body even more. So your liver's working hard, your kidneys are working hard to filter out things. All right, and then the other thing that happens is your human growth hormone begins to increase. Now I'm gonna send this information out in an email tomorrow. So if I don't have your email, you need to text me or message me your email so I can add you to my newsletter. But I'm gonna send out, I'm gonna actually send out this video and then I'll, I'll have this information um, will be attached. Okay. So, um, so then it, your human growth hormone begins to increase. That's a good thing. So if you eat at six o'clock by midnight, your human growth hormone is really coming up here. And that's a good thing because it's a fat burning hormone. So you literally are burning fat while you sleep if you didn't eat, if you hadn't eaten in the last two hours. So that's why I encourage my people, one of the first things you have to do is quit that late night snacking. It is not healthy for any reason, okay? So you're just gonna have to convince yourself that that is not what healthy people do. Healthy people don't eat at night. They don't eat late at night. All right, so, and then the last thing that happens is glucagon is relaxed to balance your blood sugar. So that's a good thing. So it's, rele it's released, not relaxed. It's released to balance your blood sugar. All right, so that's 12 hours now. So here we go. So 12 hours, digestion, your digestion is at rest, all right? Now 14 hours, you're gonna start using that stored fat. Well, that's a, that's a good thing. So while you're sleeping, or even if you fasted through the next day, you're gonna start using that, um, that fat that you stored, and your body's, uh, your human growth hormone starts to increase dramatically at the 14 hour point. So if you ate at six, and you woke up at six in the morning, and then you fasted till eight, you're, you're getting a lot of good things going on in your body. And then at 16 hours, okay, your body starts to ramp up the fat burning even more. And, and isn't that a good thing, fat burning? Think about that, I'm burning fat because I didn't eat last night before I went to bed. And then at 18 hours, that human growth hormone is really dramatically way up there, which is really, really a good thing. Okay, it starts to skyrocket. All right, so here's what starts happening at 24 hours, all right? Autophagy begins. So you think, well, what is autophagy? Auto means self, phagy is eating. So your body literally starts to use the fat, eat, eat the fat that it's stored. And here's what I tell my people. When you feel hungry, just reach down and grab a roll of that fat and say, there's your next meal. You're, it's already paid for, you've been storing it for quite a while, so now's the time to go ahead and use it. Yeah, So and you can. So I wanna remind you, the longest fast was, I think, 348 days. The guy didn't eat anything, he drank water, he took his supplements, but he lost, I think, 250 pounds or something like that. I don't have my facts down, I, hadn't, I haven't quoted that in a long time. But, um, but he was fine. So when people tell you, oh, you need to eat something, I'm like, no, you don't, especially if you're sick. Don't eat when you're sick. Now, you definitely need to hydrate, and you definitely need your uh, electrolytes, but if I were to get sick tomorrow with some kind of whatever, I wouldn't eat. I would not eat. I would let my body heal itself, and that's when it does it the most. I don't want my liver, my kidneys, my all that to be working, trying to work to digest food. I want them to be working to heal my body, okay? So that may have shocked some of y'all that I said don't eat, and especially not chicken noodle soup and saltines. Those are just not healthy foods. They're not, now chicken broth, bone broth, that may be fine, but not the noodles. You don't need 
those, those carbs, they're empty carbs. They literally have no nutritional value to them. Okay, so here we go. So autophagy, this is when the glyco glycogen that has been stored in your organs is drained. So it, it comes out and gives your organ a chance to rest. And then uh, at 24 hours, ketones are released into your bloodstream, and that's when you're gonna really start feeling good. My clients text me and they're like, I feel so good, I'm fasted 24 hours. I'm like, yeah, don't eat. Keep going and see just how good it feels. Yeah, how in energized you are. The last thing I wanna do when I'm fasted and I've got something important to do is to eat because it's, my body has to go to work really hard to do that, to digest my food. All right, so here's what happens at 36 hours. I just had one of my clients yesterday or two days ago finish a 36 hour fast. Autophagy is increased by 300%, and then at 48 hours, it's increased an additional 30%, and your immune system really kicks into gear, and um, the, you, you start getting an increase in your um, reduction of your inflammatory response. So I had a, a lady just two, you, two days ago, she said, I can't believe it. I have not had an RA flare up in the whole 90 days. And she said, I was suffering so bad. She said, and my fibromyalgia is, is gone. She said, I can't believe it. And she's lost 42 pounds. And I'm like, exactly. I'm going to interview her in the next week or two. But um, I'm like, yes, that's what happens when you really start uh, fueling your body for performance. So that's what we want to do. Now, I had something else I was going to say about uh, about the, oh, okay, so uh, there's a doctor at Boston College that has done a research and he's posted this, this is common knowledge now among uh, naturopaths, okay, let's just say doctors that are really interested in natural healing. And he says, based on his research, that if you did a five-day fast twice a year, you could decrease your risk of cancer by 99%. So I'm just gonna tell you, if I get the cancer word, I'm gonna start fasting. You're gonna see me start shrinking away. And uh, there's video after video on YouTube of people that when they've shrunk their tumors, they've, they've, they've just done a lot to heal themselves through fasting, okay? All right, so now I wanna, um, uh, oh my gosh, I, I need to do a drawing. And I think I, yeah, I drew one out. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. Hang with you. Okay, hold on. Where's that? Those are all empty ones. I don't know why they're... Okay, Bonnie Sears. Bonnie, you have won this thing so many times. So congratulations. I've got a bag of... Uh, Keto Elevate for you is a, um, uh, a ketone. It's actually MCT oil that you can put in your coffee. It's a powder. So I will get that to you, Bonnie. You just need to send me your email uh, or your mailing address. Okay, so please share this video. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm not sure uh, that I'm going to be here, but I want you to know that I've opened up my challenge. And even today, I had people joining, and they just said, I have been putting this off so long and I'm finally ready to get healthy. I'm like, yes, let's get healthy together. So here's what's happening. We're moving into the food season, the food season, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Steady food, gonna be in the break room, gonna be at your house, gonna be, you know, all these, all these things. And, and you're thinking, if you really think about it, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, I dread it because your clothes are going to feel tight. You're going to be bloated. You're not going to feel good, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can join my challenge tonight, tonight tomorrow. Uh, uh, Sunday's the last day and I'm only taking in 30 people. So I've already taken in some today and yesterday. So uh, let me know, message me, and let's just get on the phone and talk about it. I mean, you may not be ready. I mean, I have talked to people and they're like, I just got so much going on right now. And I'm like, this is the exact time to do it because through the holidays, you if you fasted, you'd have to worry about two less meals. You'd save money. 
you would feel better. You would feel like doing the things that you hadn't been able to do. One of my clients, you know, she said she's lost 60 pounds since October. And she said, I can climb up in my husband's truck now. She said, I can go to the basketball. I can go to my children's events and climb up in the bleachers. She's like, I can walk. I can do things I couldn't do because I'm healthier now. And she said, I can even enjoy cooking good, healthy meals. So I was on the phone with her this morning and she was baking a pumpkin uh, breakfast bread that was keto, you know? And um, my, other, my other client was telling me, you know, since she's lost 28 pounds and her blood sugar has come down, she's come off her blood sugar medicine. So if that sounds like something you want to do, then you need to message me because now is the perfect time. There's not a better time than right now. And I'd love to talk to you about it. I'm going to send you, uh, if you message me, I'm going to send you a couple of videos and um, I'm going to send you access to my app. I do have an app where you check in every day. And what my clients will tell you, if any of y'all are on here watching, hit the love button, is that you get support. You have support. I'm right here with you, and I'll never leave you or forsake you. I want you to be healthy and to join me, so let me hear from you, and we'll talk soon. Y'all have a great night.